the craft I'm going to show you guys today is another friendship bracelet and it is a fishtail pattern like this one. Um, it's really easy. It's going to use the knots I've already showed you guys and this is one of the ones that I showed you that your arrowhead bracelet is based off of. So if you haven't um, tried that or you haven't um, learned how to do those knots yet, you can visit my last video and I did the arrowhead knots and you can see how to do your forwards knots and your backwards knots. In this bracelet, I'm gonna show you how to do forwards backwards knots as well as backwards forwards knots. So we'll learn a couple more things in this one, but I would suggest you check out the arrowhead one first to kind of get the basis for what you need to know. So the first thing you're gonna need is you always need a pair of scissors when you're working with string, just because this is gonna make your life a heck of a lot easier than trying to break it with your hands which is doable, but not pleasant. Next, you'll need some kind of colored string. This can be wool, this could be, you know, hemp, thread, whatever you wanna use. For me, I use embroidery floss, which comes in little packages like this. They're generally about 50 cents per packet like this, or you can get a whole bag full of them at like Walmart or Michaels for relatively cheap as well. But you're gonna need a few colors of that. You're going to need a safety pin as well, something to anchor your bracelet down. So as usual, we're going to cut our string. Your string should be pretty much double your arm's length and then a little bit. Um, fold it in half like this, and then you're going to just create a knot at the top. So I do mine like this. And now I've got a loop to anchor my bracelet from. So now that my bracelet is anchored, um, I'm going to split my strings up mirror-wise. This is just like the arrowhead bracelet, so I'm going to split the strings in two, and I'm going to figure out what color I want them in. So I'm going to do this bright green first, and I'm going to lay it out, the first string, on both sides here. Then I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do the yellow then the purple, then the blue. So I'll just lay that out. Yellow, purple, then blue on this side as well. So it's basically, if you set up one side of your strings, you should be able to flip it and mirror it on the other side, and that is known as a mirror setup. So now we're going to start with doing just a, your first row is just an arrowhead. So I'll go ahead and refresh your memory on that one if you are new. So you're going to take your green string and you're going to make a four with it over our yellow string. Pull the loose end through the loop that you create and pull it tight once and pull it tight twice, making another four, bringing through the loop. That is a full knot. If you only do that once, you're only creating half of a knot you're not going to have the same effect and it will be easier for your colors to switch. So holding on to your green string still and setting your yellow string aside, you're going to create your four, pull through and do that twice, and then around the blue as well. Once your green is in the middle of your string, we're gonna set it down and we're going to work on the other side here. So we're doing the same thing here, but it's backwards knots. So instead of making fours, we are making sails. So we're going to create our sails, pull it in, pull it through the loop. Now always remember these first couple rows, you really have to watch your colors. Just because they're so close to the top knot where everything is conjugated together, it could lead to you accidentally mixing colors up. So then we get to the center and we're gonna tie our two green strings together. It doesn't matter if you do a forwards or a backwards knot because the knot's going to end up the same color anyways. So now this is where things get a little bit different from our arrowhead pattern. I'm going to start on this side here. So what I want to do is I want to keep the pattern for the arrowhead, but I want to create kind of an underlying effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my yellow string and I'm going to do a backwards forwards knot. So what this means is, you should watch closely. <laughs> so what this means is I'm going to start off like I'm doing a backwards knot. So I'm going to create a sail and I'm going to pull that loose end through the hole and pull it tight. 
But now instead of completing the backwards knots, doing that again to complete our knot, we are going to switch and we're going to create a forwards knot, creating your four and pulling the string, oops, pulling the string through the loop, which results in our full knot done, but our yellow is still where it started completely at the side. So we're gonna drop that there and we're going to move on to the string that we just knotted around, which is the purple. So picking up the next color, the blue, we're going to do a backwards forwards knot again. So we're going to create our sail and pull our loose end through the loop. And then instead of finishing that backwards knot, we're going to come in and we're going to create a four like we would for our forwards knots and pull that loose end through the loop again. This leaves our purple exactly where it was before. Everything is still in sequence. Now taking our blue that we just tied around, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to create, start a backwards knot with our sail pulling the loop through. And instead of doing that again to finish out the knot, we're going to create a forwards knot with our four instead of the sail and pull that tight. And then we're just going to set the green aside until we bring the other colors in from the other side. So now making sure your colors are all laid out again, we're going to start with the yellow and we're on this side, we're going to do a forwards backwards knot. So it's the opposite of what we just did, which means we're going to start by creating our regular forwards knot or like we're going to. So we create our four, we pull the loose end through the hole Oops. and you pull that tight. Now, instead of doing that again to create a full forwards knot, we're going to create a backwards knot now. So we're going to create a sail and we're going to pull that loose end through the loop. Now our yellow has completed a full knot and it remains where it was before. Taking the purple one now that we just knotted around, we're going to knot it around the blue, doing a forwards backwards knot again. So we're going to create our four and we're going to pull the loose end through the loop. Now we're going to, instead of doing that again, do a backwards knot now. So we're gonna create our sail and pull the loose end through the loop. Now that the purple is exactly where it should be, we're gonna push that aside with the yellow and we're going to grab our blue string and knot around the green. So we're going to create our four for our forwards knot, pull that tight and instead of doing that again, we're going to come in with our half of backwards knots, we're gonna create our sail and we're gonna pull the loose end through the loop. Now we have our two greens in the middle, so just like you would with a regular arrowhead, you're just gonna tie those two together it does not matter if you do a forwards or a backwards knot or a forwards backwards or a backwards forward knot. It's all going to be the same color. Okay, so now we have something like this. It doesn't look too spectacular right now. So we're going to add in our next row of arrowhead. So doing a regular arrowhead, I'm going to start on my right hand side again. I'm going to take my yellow and I'm going to go across just normal arrowhead. So for the right hand side, you're doing backwards knots. Coming over to our other side, remember we do forwards knots when we're working left to right and backwards knots when we're working right to left. And I got some knots going on. Now we're going to do our forwards, backwards, backwards, forwards knots again. Okay, so I'm gonna start on the right side just because that's generally the side I like to start on. And we're going to do our backwards, forwards knots again. So I'm going to lay my strings out here. And starting with the purple one, I'm going to start with a backwards knot. So I'm going to create my sail and I'm going to pull the loose end through the loop and I'm gonna pull that tight. And then again, we're not gonna do that and complete the backwards knot. We're going to come in 
and do a forwards knot over that to complete our two pieces of a full stitch. So now your purple will end up exactly where it began. Now taking our blue one that we just knotted around as our new knotting string, we're going to do the same over this green. So we're going to create a sail and pull our loop through, pull that tight, and then we're going to switch and create a four, pull the loose end through, and pull that tight. And we're going to do that again with the green. So we're going to do a backwards knot first, and then a forwards knot. Hence the reason it's called a backwards forwards knot. Now we're gonna leave the yellow until we get our other side done. So coming over here, I've set that right side away. And I'll go through this one more time for you. So we're going to do a forwards knot. We're going to create our four and we're going to pull the loose end through the loop. Pulling that tight, we're going to switch now instead of doing another forwards knot and we're going to create our backwards knot with the sail. And we're gonna pull that tight. Now we're going to take the blue string that we just knotted around and we're going to do it again. We're going to create our four for our forwards knot, pull the loose end through the loop, and then you're going to create a sail for your backwards knot and pull the loose end through the loop. Setting the purple and the blue aside, we're now moving on to the green and we're going to do the same thing. A four, pull the loose end through, and then a sail, pull the loose end through. Now we've got two yellows in the middle and we're going to just tie them together. So now we're looking like this. So now we're going to do just a regular arrowhead row with our purple here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Sorry, I work a lot messier when I'm um, actually knotting than when I'm doing it for a video. <laughs> so if you see the strings kind of flying in between here, that's why. you complete that just repeat that for the rest of your bracelet and eventually you'll start to see the pattern emerge more as you cycle through the colors so I'll meet back up with you guys here when I have the length of my bracelet done and I will show you how I'm going to end it off so now that I've completed the length of the bracelet that I want I'm going to finish it off and this time I'm going to do a fishtail braid like the bracelet I showed you before this one so it looks a little bit different than your normal braid. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a fishtail braid ending and it's actually really simple. So we're going to keep our strings in two parts and try to keep them in order. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to take our outer green one and we're going to fold it over and hold it in with the other group, keeping it on the inside so it's kind of in order still. And then we're gonna take the green from this side and we're gonna move it over to the right hand group. Then we're going to take the yellow and do the same thing. Over, over. Now you can do this without regard to the order, but if you want it to look more clean, then trying to keep the strings in order is probably your best bet. So we're gonna take the outer string from the right hand side and move it to the inner side of the left hand side and then take the outer from the left hand side and move it to the inner of the right hand side and just continue that all the way down. And then to tie off the end, I'm just going to create a loop like this and pull the loose ends through. Then 
open and just gonna grab my snips here. Trim the ends and the bracelet is complete. This is how your bracelet should look or something like this. To tie your bracelet on, you're just going to stick the braided end through the loop. Create another loop and put the last end through. And there you have it, a fishtail bracelet. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, hit the subscribe button and I'll be sure to upload more tutorials soon. Happy crafting!